So let's start with uh, a brief introduction about this course. In, uh, in this class, we will describe what this course talk about. Okay. Uh, yes, yes. Yes, uh, Abdullah. The class, du during the class time, it's only for discussion. It might take half an hour, 45 minutes, one hour, whatever, maybe 10 minutes if it was clear. So it's just uh, a discussion. And uh, by the way, Annie, this is how the classes should be. This is how the classes should be. Uh, so I'm going to try it for this semester. And uh, at the end of the semester, uh, I will be grateful uh, to, uh, to hear from you about this experience, to see whether it was a good experience for all of you or not. Right. So we will talk about the course, why we need it, and uh, what are the jobs in the market that are related to this course. Yani if you master the subjects discuss, uh, discussed in this course, what kind of jobs? that you can get in the job just because of this course um, and uh, what are we going to learn okay uh, we'll talk about the plan uh, and the calendar about this assessment uh, how to study the course some instructions uh, also the resources uh, for the self-learning there is a lot of resources for the textbook and interactive online uh, uh, websites uh, even the Python, uh, yeah, for the Python uh, compiler, there is an online uh, Python compiler which you can use if you don't want to install the compiler in your uh, machine. So, uh, the ultimate goal of this course the ultimate goal of this course is to design algorithms that are correct and efficient. See, here we have three keywords. Design, correct, efficient. Uh, is it only Abdul Rahman and Mashail who cannot hear me or what about the rest? Uh, uh, please, uh, one of you just uh, reply them, ask them to leave the session and come back again. Right. So we're going to talk about the design, correct, efficient. These are very important three keywords which summarize what we are going to study in this course. So, first, we are going to design algorithms. Designing algorithms is actually important for solving problems. That is the main reason for designing algorithms. Usually, we design algorithms to solve problems. If there is no problem, there is no algorithms. One of the important examples in algorithms is, for example, is the salesman, the sales trouble, uh, tra traveling salesman problem, the TSP. Troubling salesman problem. The story is like this. We have a sale, salesman. He has some product and he wants to sell it out for customers. That salesman, the salesman has to go through different cities. City A, B, C, D, E. Now, what is the best path that that sales has to follow? Shall the sales go to A, then B, then C, then D? Or shall he go from C to A to B to D? Or B, D, A, C? Or D, C, E, A? And so on. There are plenty of path, paths that are available for the sales to follow. So which one is the best? You know, the shortest is the best. Shortest is the best. So we have a problem. We have a sale, salesman who is trying to sell his product. At the same time, we need that salesman to go through different destinations, but in efficient and correct way. How it can be correct? 
if the salesman visited all the cities, then that is a correct. But at the same time, correct is not enough. It must be efficient. Because sometimes if you have a problem, the proposed solution to solve this problem might not, but might not be efficient. So your solution is not good. It is a solution, but it's not an efficient solu solution. How to know if your solution or algorithm is correct? How to know if it is efficient? That is what we are going to study in this course. So we have problems that we need to design algorithms for solving them. But we have to consider two important factors while designing algorithms. Algorithm must be correct, so it solves the problem correctly. Second, it must be efficient, so the solution is efficient. So why we need to learn about algorithms? Actually, problems. Again, as I said earlier, we need algorithms for solving problems. Do you think that problems in the world will finish one day? No way, right? There's no way that the problems are going to finish one day. So, if let's say you have a problem and you as a student uh, yeah, I'd like to have some discussion with uh, you guys. Yeah, Abdullah, I say depends. What do you mean by depends? Depends on what? Yeah, g give me example. Give me example, Abdullah. Yani give me example on the problems that, yeah, may finish. Yeah, we might not have problem from different types, from specific type, because you said some types of problems. What type of problems that you f you think that they are over, or they will finish with time? Yes, yes, exactly. So that, well, that's what I mean. We always have new problems. Yani last time, yes, last time we had different problem in communication. When the internet comes, the internet solve old communication problems, right? But we still have new communication issues. So we always have new problems. Last time, nobody cared about the cyber security, the internet security, because we don't have even internet. Now, when we have the internet, we make the communication much better, faster, and satisfy all the requirements. But at the same time, new kind of threats, new kind of problems emerge. So, we always have new types of problems. So, instead of teaching you existing algorithms, that are there for solving the problems we need to teach you how to develop how to analyze the algorithms why because we want to help you to solve problems in the future okay so that is the main target that we are looking for when we are teaching such a course it's a bit complicated course compared to other courses but it's very core very core courses for uh, uh, for your major so here we are going to teach you how to develop efficient algorithm instead of just using the existing one. It's very simple for us to teach you the existing one, but we are teaching you nothing. 
here we are going to develop your skills in thinking in critical thinking and problem solving and by the way in the future in the near future employers will look for these two important skills problem solving and critical thinking I, I think you already heard a few months ago Google already stopped uh, hiring uh, new employees based on their certificate and degrees now they are looking for skills if you know how to solve problems if you have this kind of skills if you have critical thinking then you are wanted okay now so what type what type of structure because this is actually uh, two parts this kind of course uh, uh, this particular course is divided into two parts it's a data structure and analysis and computability okay so two parts here in the first part the structure we are going to study the queue stack linked list trees heap hash table these are the major data structures that we are going to cover in this course in terms of the algorithms so see these are data structure uh, uh, Abdul Hakim uh, not about normally uh, for Google uh, they believe that some people I think you're already aware of this as well some people even they don't have a, a high school they can hack banks right and hack very important ministries across the world they even doesn't have a single certificate so do you imagine that if that person if you compare a person who has a, a, a master degree or a bachelor degree he might be able to beat that kind of you know of of uh, of uh, of people why because they have skills they are creative they have skills so employers like google and facebook and these big companies they are looking for creative people no that is uh, okay ethical ethical and unethical this is a different story i'm talking about the skills itself you know the skills can be always used for good and for bad things like uh, even uh, for hackers uh, as you think hacker hacker can be also good people yani we have uh, hackers the white hackers uh, they they are actually looking for uh, security issues for uh, security holes for threats to protect your organization not to not to take advantage of these kind of security threats so they are going there they are checking your the security of your systems just to protect you these are also called hackers so uh, yeah, w what i mean here is just uh, actually talking i'm concerned about the skills itself yes okay nor um, I, I have two different things uh, yani two different stories here some people they have very good skills in some types of work okay regardless whether they are using their skills in good thing or bad thing but they have skills so if you are employer if you have a company i you want to hire somebody the first thing that you nowadays what we are doing we look at their degrees we are looking for uh, those uh, students who got graduated from good universities uh, they have very high GPAs and uh, they got uh, A scores in uh, many courses this is what we are looking for so if someone with no degree has applied for a job and he has no degree but he has good skills he will not be hired why 
because of the degree so we are looking we are evaluating people based on their degree not on skills and that is in the near future will not be there in near future everybody is looking for skills not for degrees so that is actually your good chance to start from that point enhancing and developing your own skills so uh, back to uh, our subject here we have some data structure these data structure is actually a um, uh, ready one they are giving you template for solutions they are not solutions but they are giving you template for solutions so if you have for example uh, if you have a printer now everybody's using printer in companies in our university even we are using shared printer right so if let's say 10 users try to send a document to the printer for printing at the same time what will happen at the same time yes the the request from the 10 users they will yes they will be queued inside the buffer the memory of the printer yes waiting for the first request to be completed in order to start with the second one so this is actually the the idea the concept of the queue data structure there is a queue data structure so when i say queue stack linked list trees heap these are not a solution these are concepts okay why do i need it because later i can use it if I face a problem that needs queue, then I can use the queue data structure. If I have a problem that need the concept of stack, then I use the stack link uh, uh, data structure and so on. So when I talk about solutions, then at that time I'm talking about algorithms. So if you have a problem that needs sorting, if you have numbers that need to be sorted, so you can use sorting algorithm. If you have a text, you are searching for a keyword, then you use a searching algorithm. If you have some patterns and you are looking for matching the pattern with specific key input, then you can use the pattern matching. If you have cities, like the traveling salesman problem, then you can present it using graph. That is in terms of solutions. In terms of paradigms, that is the framework that is how you are going to what kind of strategies yani i want you to to imagine the paradigms the keyword paradigms like strategy what kind of strategy you are adopting for solving the problem is it the divide and conquer the optimization greedy brute force dynamic recursion these are strategies that we are going to cover in this course after completing the structures and the algorithms we will move to the analysis and the complexity and here we are going to talk about the big O notations the theta notation omega notation to analyze the algorithms and to find out which one is the best we will talk about the sets and the predicate logic and we'll talk about the uh, computation and its limit now the platform that we are going to use in this course is actually based on python so we are going to use python programming language for all these data structure i think you have already covered uh, this part as introduction in tm111 right we'll talk uh, Noor we'll talk about uh, IDE we'll talk about the IDE you can use anything uh, uh, okay yes yes TM112 excellent Mumtaz okay no problem uh, ما في مشكلة حصة اوكي ان شاء الله
طيب uh, let's go to the jobs that are uh, actually related to the uh, to the algorithms uh, زي ما احنا شايفين في موقع انديد بيعطيني صورة او نبذة عن الـ 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 الوظائف اللي ممكن يشتغلها الناس اللي عندهم سكيلز في الالغوريثمز you can work as matlab algorithm developer uh, in machine learning um, uh, in machine intelligent algorithms in algorithm developer in FPGA this is a hardware algorithm developer uh, and is based on this in United States the average salary is 140 USD per year this is the average salary for this kind of jobs طيب ماشي ماشي يا سمير تمام ححاول بس يعني الان احنا هذا يعني متكلم عن الجوبس والهذا امور واضحه يعني طيب Uh, and also, as you can see here, the most in-demand skills that can get you hired in U.S. in 2017. Number nine is algorithm design. So it's one of the important skills uh, in IT uh, that will enable you to get a job in U.S. And that is only in 2017. طيب as we said احنا uh, Python is the programming language that going to be used in this course احنا هنستخدم Python في في هذا الكورس uh, uh, ك كلغة برمجة هنعمل فيها implementation لكل هذا data structure uh, now uh, Python is actually why it is important because it's general purpose language uh, what do you mean by general purpose uh, Ahmed, Ahmed, will all Jamia. Please, if you have during the discussion, while I'm giving you some uh, explanation about subject, make your questions and comment related to what I'm saying. يعني يا أحمد هل الحضور أنا بحكي عن البايثون why learning Python سير الدو دكتور حضور ضروري الدكتور ما يا يا دكتوري ما عليه درجات الحضور لا مش ضروري. طيب بس خلينا نكون فوكس يعني انت زي اللي اللي بيكون بيحكي شعر وواحد بيحكي له ممكن لو سمحت اطلع او احكي تليفون ما بزبط خلينا نخلص بس يصير في ديسكشن اذا في عندك ظرف اطلع ما عندي مشكلة طيب why we learning python python is very important because it is very general purpose language which means that you can use it to build anything and it's very good for uh, actually preparing tools and libraries يعني احنا ما يميز البايثون انها لغة عامة الاستخدام uh, شو يعني عامة الاستخدام معناها انه انت بتقدر تستخدم البايثون لحتى تبني اي شيء وتحديدا هي مهمة لاني انا بقدر ابني من خلالها المكتبات والادوات اللي هي tools libraries اللي انت بتستخدمها في برامج اخرى وهي مهمة في موضوع software engineering في reuse يعني in reuse this is very important point for python it's very good for uh, the reuse issue in software engineering so uh, python is great actually backend web development it can be used in data analysis الذكاء الصناعي AI it can be used scientific computing and many developer actually they use python for tools, games, applications, and so many. Now, AI is used, uh, sorry, uh, Python is used for AI. Uh, it's very good for information security and cyber security. Python, uh, uh, no, 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 Python. Python, Abdullah. Python is even in the in the coming يعني few years uh, I think Python will be uh, more popular than Java we can see now in the in the following slide we can see how things are going on compared to uh, Java you see how now Java is actually uh, uh, يعني, uh, one of the most popular 
mostly used in in all kind of application but in the in the last years starting from 2016 almost 2016 uh, you can see how there's a drop right and uh, the red one is the python and you can see the python uh, now is trending and uh, is going to be more and more in the coming uh, yeah, any five years uh, yes yes you're right yes طيب uh, يعني okay let's focus on the point that has been uh, raised by Khulud uh, for all programming languages as a computer science or IT students uh, what you care about is to learn the logic of the programming syntax is almost not a problem for all programmers why because every time we have new programming language coming out so if you have the logic if you have the logic in building solutions and algorithms you will not face any problem of learning new programming languages يعني انا ما عندي مشكله للناس اللي بيشتغلوا في البرمجه كمبيوتر ساينس احنا بنعلمك لغه برمجه اولى لكن مش راح نقدر ما في جامعه بتعلم كل لغات البرمجه اللي موجوده فانا بالنهايه بس بعلمك الكونسبت بعلمك اللوجيك كيف تفكر كيف تبني اللي هي الالجوريثمز بعد هيك بتصير عمليه سينتاكس فأي لغة بإمكانك تتعلمها لاحقا uh, عشان هيك أنا بسمع يعني sometimes I hear from some students uh, our university is not teaching us, uh, uh, us uh, يعني why we still uh, taking uh, Java uh, why you don't replace it with Python uh, why you don't replace it with .NET why you don't يعني everything he expect or the student expect that the university should teach students all types of programming languages and that is not true what we care about is the concept and the logic and the rest is yours uh, based on uh, the same website if you are good in Python developer I think you can get a higher salary which is about 116,000 uh, USD per year uh, and uh, you can work as a Python developer uh, SR Python developer Python yani so is so many jobs related to uh, Python uh, development uh, this is one of the actually good uh, skills that you need to pose uh, in order to get uh, a salary or high salary jobs yani من الوظائف المهمة جدا أو المطلوبة Python مطلوبة جدا في كل الوظائف Uh, this is what we have discussed before uh, this is actually just uh, trying to show you uh, the parts of each uh, subject this is the parts of the introduction we talk about the Python uh, the basic uh, we'll talk about the computational thinking then we will move to the algorithms we talk about the conditions and uh, the strategies also in the third uh, part we will talk about sorting different types of sorting algorithms so many actually types of sorting algorithms then the searching algorithms also different types and on the fifth subject we talk about op optimization and dynamic programming uh, in the sixth uh, subject we talk about the sets and logic and also some queries uh, for database very 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 basic one and then we talk about the computation and the limits of computations now for the assessments we will have uh, two assessments for this course uh, during this exceptional uh, s semester so we have the TMA which will carry 50% and uh, take home exam which will take uh, carry sorry uh, another 50 percent uh, 
uh, if you are studying and registering this course, I think you are uh, in one of the four tracks uh, that we have in uh, our faculty. Uh, so you will be in either web development, computer science, uh, ITC, or computing with business. Uh, okay, Safa, so I'm not sure. Uh, I think you need to uh, follow up with the course. Uh, I mean, all the announcements on LMS. Uh, I will announce it once we get a clear uh, instructions from the GCC. Uh, so, till now, I have, uh, I'm not sure actually whether it's going to be like the same. Uh, sorry, uh, whether it's going to be like the previous semester or not. So the prerequisite for this course uh, is TM105 and MT131. Uh, and actually, uh, for this course, after you cover this course, you will be able to register MT372, TM351, and uh, TM366 based on your track, based on your track. These are some of the textbooks that are uh, actually helpful for this course. The first one is the data structure algorithm in Python. Here we have the Python algorithms and the problem solving with algorithms and data structure using Python and essential algorithm. Uh, this is a practical approach uh, to computer algorithms. So here are uh, some of the instructions uh, on uh, how to study this course. I will leave it for you to go through the advices. These are just the general advices. And this is actually not only for this course. Yani, uh, you can, uh, it's helpful for other co uh, home, uh, sorry, courses as well. And here we have some resources for self-learning.